first question on the AQA Unit 1 paper is your five mark definition question. And whilst it's perfectly possible to pick up all five marks from your written definition alone, that's definitely not the best way to be approaching this question. Okay, so there are two other ways in which you can pick up your marks. And the first of these is for including relevant example. The second of these is including uh, a relevant diagram. Okay, so um, for the example, there are two, sorry, there are one, there is one mark on offer. And for the diagram, there is further two marks on offer. So you should be able to see if you pick up three of those additional points, that means you only need to pick up two um, out of the possible five for the written definition. So that gives you a lot more leeway. Okay, so let's take a look at June 2013. I'm going for question one, context number one. Um, the question asked, find the term subsidies. Okay, so I want you to start off with your written definition here. And I think um, what you want to be aiming for is the third bullet point down um, on the mark scheme. If you don't have a mark scheme in front of you, I strongly recommend that you do so. Um, so money paid by the government to firms in order to reduce their cost. That would actually pick you up all five marks. But remember, we want to take a more strategic approach um, to answering these definition questions and sometimes it might be not might not be as straightforward um, as to what the, the, the written definition is going to be. Sometimes that might give you a more obscure term to define. Okay, so after your written definition it's very easy to tack on um, an example. Okay, so in this question they're asking you to, to define the term subsidies. Um, quite simply for an additional mark at the end of your written definition just put e.g and then pick out a relevant subsidy. So in this case, I've gone for um, e.g. childcare subsidies, which lowers the cost of childcare. Or alternatively, you could have got, gone for e.g. fuel subsidies, which lowers the cost of fuel. Okay, very simple for another mark. Um, and then for your remaining two marks, um, if you haven't picked them up already, um, Diagram. Okay, so in this case, it's very um, obvious as to the diagram you've got to draw, and um, sometimes it might not be as obvious. Okay, so, so say for example, um, the question asks you to define private benefits. Okay, um, it should be it should, it should be kind of kind of apparent to you that you want to be drawing your um, marginal private benefits, marginal uh, private costs type diagram, so very, very similar in shape to your demand and supply diagram. Um, but the important thing to remember here is that you want to be trying to shoehorn in um, a relevant diagram, even if it doesn't add too much value to, to the definition itself. Okay, so important points to remember here, always, always, always include an example and a, and a um, relevant diagram. You're not going to get marks taken away from you um, if your diagram and example don't quite hit the spot. There's no negative marking in this test. Um, so that's why there's, there's no harm in including them. Okay, so you want to be aiming for, um, if you want to get five marks in this question, you want to be aiming for more than five marks, kind of six or seven, to guarantee yourself um, five marks in this question. And obviously any, any marks that you drop as a result of having an incomplete uh, written definition, um, you can then compensate with your diagram and with that example. Thanks very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more tutoring videos. Remember that full notes and other resources are available on my tutoring website at idktuition.com. And if you'd like me to cover anything in particular, please leave me a message in the comments below or on Twitter at TomDavies32.